Hi there. Outback MotorTech recently launched a new product um, and it is to protect the engine case and engine components. It is called an engine case guard or engine guard slash DCT guard. And I will show you what the installation will require, what kind of tools I recommend to install the product and what the package includes that you will receive if you purchase this product. Before you do anything, make sure you loosen all the bolts and nuts and fasteners on your current Outback Motortech crash bars on your Africa Twin. Okay, so recommended tools. 10 millimeter wrench, 12 millimeter, 13, two 14 millimeter wrenches, and one 17 millimeter. Um, I use a small ratchet and extension. It's just uh, uh, for tight spaces, it's better to use. Six millimeter Allen key for your ratchet, four, five millimeter and four millimeter, and also a 10 millimeter socket, also a smaller size. A large ratchet and a decent size extension. This one's about 10, 12 inches long or 30 centimeters, 13 millimeter socket, and a 17 millimeter socket. <clears throat> What's included in the actual package? Right side, engine case guard. Left side, hardware, three bolt with nylock nuts and washers, four uh, pieces of five M5 um, um, Allen bolts, also with washers and nylock nuts. Custom made flat nut, this is very important. Um, these are clamps, two C-shaped clamps. M8 button head Allen bolt. This is gonna Come pretty handy if you want to install your uh, factory Honda skid plate. And three 8mm regular Allen bolts. Also, this piece of bad boy here, this is a rear mount for the right side crash bar. So, if you loosen up all the bolts and nuts, so your crash bars are fairly loose, you can remove the through bolts. Um, using a 17 millimeter socket on the top and a 17 millimeter wrench on the other side. Down here, 13 millimeter socket and a 13 millimeter um, wrench on the other side. So pull those out and then we'll continue from here. You can push the radiator hose aside, so it's easier to remove the through bolt. And also remove the bottom. It's a little bit too tight, move on the crash bar a little bit. And it will come out pretty easily. Okay, so this is done. We're gonna mount the left side crash bars first. Next step is to mount this rear bracket right in here, it's going to be mounted right on the frame. So you actually have to remove uh, and loosen up and remove the, uh, uh, the nuts down here. Okay. 
and the front front one will be a custom made flat nut and the rear one is going to stay the, the factory Honda one. Okay, so I, I did mount already. It's up here. Now we're going to mount the actual uh, right hand side engine guard. Okay, so make sure you have some of the hardware handy here, like the two Allen bolts, the C-shaped clamp, and the corresponding long Allen bolts. Just to, just easier, just nicer to, to keep it handy. Okay, so right hand side, um, spacing is really tight here, so move the, uh, the radiator hose and just gently fit in the front mount first. Hook it on the, um, the through bolt. Like so. Use a little force. Okay, so it's on right now. Grab the, the Allen bolt. And just hand thread. Okay, one is enough for now. Clamp. The two long stainless steel Allen bolts. Insert one, two, The nylon nut, and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I hand threaded both bolts down here. Also, the uh, the two Allen bolts up here and the nuts, so these are on. Also, the the through bolts are through the the mounting holes. And now this will take a little patience because there is no space or not a lot of space in here for your hands to play around with. And we're gonna insert the, the two washers, the large washer up there, and also the, uh, the nylock nuts. One of the final steps is tightening the, uh, the, the through bolts. I will begin with the upper one using a 17 millimeter wrench. Hook that on, go on the other side. Now the extension is gonna come handy with a ratchet and a 17 millimeter socket. Uh, try to insert here. You can uh, move the radiator hose. And start tightening. Okay, and repeat the same thing on the bottom side, the bottom through bolt, 13 millimeter wrench. Place it in the nut and begin tightening with the 13 millimeter socket attached. So now I've just completed mounting both the right hand side and left hand side engine case guards. One final step tighten all the bolts and nuts, all of them, including the crash bars because it, remember you had to loosen it up. So tighten everything. The torque specs are also attached to the uh, mounting instructions that you get for your, with your product. So once it's done, go out for a spin, 50, 100 kilometers or uh, 50 miles or 100 miles, doesn't matter. And, and check everything, check all the bolts and hardware and, uh, and enjoy your new product. Thank you for watching.